Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to be making something warm. I've been eating a lot of raw foods and now I need something warm. So, in this video, you're gonna see a recipe on how I make this delicious red bean and vegetable soup. It is delicious, it's fibroid friendly, it's filling, and it doesn't make you feel all bloated and disgusting. It's very clean and it will help you to make it through your healing journey. So we're gonna start off by heating some water in a pot. I'm gonna be using my 360 cookware. You guys know I love my 360 stainless steel cookware. There's information about it down in the description box below this video, but it's just 360cookware.com and I have a discount code of WCE25, WCE25. 25. First we're going to start off with sauteing some onions. You can use whatever kind of onions you want. I used a Vidalia onion in this dish and then we have some garlic. You can leave the garlic all out if you're not a garlic fan but I am a huge garlic fan so I use a lot of garlic in my food and so you can use a whole bulb if you want. I don't know. I think I used maybe three or four, but the exact recipe for this is down in the description box below this video. And we're just going to let this cook a little bit till the onions get a little bit translucent. And you'll see in a second, they're going to start to brown. And did you know that cooking without oil and using water instead of oil, you can actually brown your vegetables? It's just, you have to be patient and you have to keep adding water as you need it as your vegetables cook. Do you see the brown in the upper right hand corner of the pan? Well, that is the flavor that is sticking to the pot a little bit. You add a little bit of water and then you stir and you get that flavor from off the pan, just like you would as if you were cooking with oil. Now the onions are getting nice and brown. I don't wanna get them too brown because I'm not trying to caramelize my onions here, but I'm adding a little bit more water so that I can add the additional vegetables that I have for this dish. Next, I'm gonna add some mushrooms. I just had some baby Bella mushrooms for this dish. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want. As a matter of fact, if you use different types of mushrooms, it's gonna give this soup a different texture or a more meaty texture if that's what you're looking for. And it's going to taste delicious once the soup all comes together with all the flavors from the herbs and spices that we're gonna put in it. So we're gonna to continue to let that cook so that the mushrooms get nice and soft. And be sure to add water as needed as you go. And now we're gonna add our herbs and spices. I'm starting out with some Herb Fest by Frontier. You can get that from my website in my Herbal Blend store. And then we're gonna add some red pepper flakes. You can leave these out if you don't like spicy food. You can add more or less as well. Then we're going to go with some chili powder to give it a smoky chili flavor. I'm adding onion powder and I'm also going to add some garlic powder. That just brings the taste of the onions and garlic that I already put in the recipe together. I'm going to stir and let those flavors melt together. You can add some more water if you need to to your pan. My absolute favorite herb for soups is bay leaf. I don't know why, it just brings the flavor out in the soup and makes it taste robust and you don't need a whole lot of salt when you use bay leaf because it has a lot of flavor. I had some leftover cherry tomatoes in the fridge that I didn't want to go bad so I just quartered them and added them to the soup as well. You can use uh, box tomatoes, canned tomatoes, a regular tomato or you can leave the tomato out altogether. Just let that hang out for a minute in the pot for a little while, letting those flavors get all mixed together. If I had Smell-O-Vision, it would be fantastic because it smells so good. Hopefully you will make this yourself and you can smell it for yourself in your own home and put your own twist on it if you'd like. So next I'm going to add some organic, no salt added kidney beans. You can put whatever kind of beans in this dish that you would like. I just wanted something mimicking red beans and rice, so to speak. 
so that's why I'm using red beans in this dish and now I'm going to mix this together and get this all well combined also I wanted to say that this is probably about one and a half servings like you could eat this whole pot by itself it's not this isn't my huge pot that I'm using this is just this was just for me I probably ate three quarters of it and then went back and ate the rest for a snack like the next day or something like that I've got this up to a rolling simmer I cooked it maybe about another five minutes and then what I'm going to do is add the final ingredients for this recipe as you all know you cannot skip an opportunity to add greens to a recipe and the recipe needed a little bit of sweetness and you, of course I'm not going to use sugar so the best option for me was to take some dates and chop them up but I don't think I got it on camera so it is in the recipe in the description below so I took a few dates and chopped them up small and added them to the soup and it gave me the sweetness that I needed next I'm going to add lime juice and that just pulled the soup all together and adding lemon and lime to soups is a way for you to cut down on sodium if you are sensitive to salt or you just don't want to add salt to your meal and as you can see I did not add salt to this recipe if you want to add salt go right ahead and add salt but salt to me is an addictive food and so I have to really stay away from it so that I don't get caught up in the salt trap so I'm squeezing this lime as best I can into this soup. It's a really hard lime to get this, the juice from, but I am going to now add the greens. So the greens here that I am choosing is arugula. I'm choosing arugula only because it's what I had in my refrigerator. You can use whatever greens you have on hand, spinach, kale, I'm not sure I would put romaine in this soup, but I have been known to do things like add mixed greens to soups and stuff like that, especially if I'm trying to get rid of them and I don't want to waste food. But as you can see, you don't have to do a whole lot of cooking to the greens. It just kind of welts down. And also you saw that I removed my bay leaf. You do not want to chew on a bay leaf. It will not taste good. So be sure to remove that from the pot. But I'm, I turned the fire off here and under the pot. All I'm doing is stirring this around and letting the greens wilt down. I'm not cooking them. They still have some life in them whenever I'm serving them. And that's the whole purpose of adding the greens to the soup. So get your greens in any way you can. Now the only thing left to do is just to serve this dish and eat it. I have a half a cup of quinoa in the, in the bowl and I'm just going to put half of the soup into the dish and I'm going to eat that for lunch. This really is a quick dish to make as well because it only took me about 20 minutes to film this video and that just tells me that it's not a hard dish to make. I mean you have to chop up your onions, your garlic, and your tomatoes but that was it like it was really fast and the key is is to learn kitchen skills so that you are not taking forever in the kitchen when you're trying to eat healthy so if you like this video please like it share it with a friend don't forget to subscribe and until next time y'all take care